Hey, what's up guys? JC here. If you haven't been watching the trans series playlist with other helpful trans videos, then look in the description below for a link to that playlist where you will find those videos. So this time, uh, I've had a few subscribers tell me that they can't access the memory card of their trans from their computer. Now this could mean one of two different things. They could be talking about not seeing it in their uh, file explorer, or they could be talking about not seeing it in OpenTX Companion. I want to show you both fixes, uh, so either way you should be set. And in case neither one of these work, I'm going to show you a third fix. So I highly recommend watching the entire video and not skipping anything. So what happens if, like in the previous videos, we hold both these in and power it on, and then we plug a USB cable into the backside? Normally, if you go to your file explorer and you go to uh, your PC, you should be seeing a uh, an additional drive. Now I have two hard drives, that's why I get a C and a D, so I should be seeing a E as well, but I'm not. And for those of you with only one hard drive, you should be seeing D. But I'm not, so why is this? Well the Trans actually has two different bootloaders that you have to change. I'm going to show you both. So for example, if you watch my video on how to... Uh, hey, Welcome back. My video on how to uh, flash firmware and all that good stuff, we had it turned completely off. And then we put the USB cable in. And then we went into Zadig. Uh, if you did not watch those videos and you don't know how to get Zadig, all you have to do is just go into beta flight or clean flight and you will see the download right here. So now going into Zadig. If you can't see my cursor at this point, I do apologize, that's my computer. But what you want to do is click Options, List All Devices, and then find your uh, Tyrannus, which in this case is going to be STM32 bootloader, or if you haven't changed it yet, uh, like in those other videos, then you might be seeing something else. Just use Process of Elimination and figure out which one it is. And for this driver, we want WinUSB. That's why in those videos, this shows what is currently on it and this shows what you are wanting to put on it and they they're both the same because I've already installed that driver and that's the driver that you want now that driver is not going to let you see the memory card because we don't have it powered on so this time we will hold both these in power it on get this screen like this now plug in the USB once again, go ahead and find it. Mine is showing FreeSky Trans Bootloader. WinUSB this time is not the one that we want. So if you flashed WinUSB to this driver, then that is exactly why you are not seeing your memory card. So how do you fix it? Well, it's pretty simple. We are going to go to the Device Manager Click View, then Show Hidden Devices, and it should be in Universal Serial Bus Devices. Yep, there it is. FreeSky Trans Bootloader. So we will right click, Update Driver Software, Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And in this box, you should be seeing USB mass storage device. If you are not seeing it in this box, then you can uncheck show compatible hardware, and then you will have to uh, like manually find it. You will have to click on all of these and figure out which one it's in. Uh, normally, I would figure it out before I shot a video, so I would have an answer for you, but I, I forgot. so. Hopefully it's in this box here. So you will choose USB mass storage device and click next. It's going to say finished installing the driver. Click close. We can close this out. If we go back to the file explorer and now we see I have, I already had C and, and D. Now I have E and G. Like I mentioned in the other videos, G is not your memory card. That is the trans itself. Well, at least for me it's G. For you it might be E. Or it could be something else. And then the one that looks like this is going to be 
the memory card. So now you got your memory card working. Now for those of you who are talking about you can't get to your memory card in the OpenTX Companion, here's a fix for that. So what we want to do is click on this little cog for settings. And we'll see that the SD structure path is set to E. Is that correct? Let's go back here. And my memory card is on E. So yes, it is going to read the memory card. Now if, uh, say, my memory card is on E, but in OpenTX, this is set to something else. Maybe it's set to G, or maybe it's set to D. If it's set to D, but the memory card is actually E, it's not going to read it. So I would have to come here and choose whichever, you know, like I said, you might have a different drive letter, but for me it's E, so I will choose E, select folder, and then click OK. And now I can read models and settings, and there we go, there's all my models. Now, what if neither one of those fixes work for you, and you still can't get to your memory card? Well, in that case, I'm going to recommend turning it off, and then if you look right here, here's your memory card. Then you can just take a little memory card to, or, you know, SD to USB adapter. I'm just going to slide it in like that. Now if I plug it into my computer, go to the File Explorer, and there it is right there. So everything I show you in all those other videos, you can still do if you can't access your memory card through that USB cable. All you have to do is just plug the memory card into your computer. If I unplug it, then we see it goes away. And it's that simple. So regardless, no matter what, you should have some type of fix for accessing your memory card on the trans. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, like I said, check out the Trans Series playlist. The link is in the description. Thanks, and I will see you again soon.